How's everybody doing out there? This is the Black Effect, the real Black Effect. And I want to talk about this. Uh, I want to get into this quickly. Mr. Thirsty Cameron, man. Cameron, you are a thirsty guy. I didn't seen too many instances of you, you know, simp like low key simping for women on camera, bro. You know, you being super thirsty on camera. I didn't saw it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I could just imagine what you do behind the scenes, killer. You understand? And it ain't nothing like, look, we all, me and her, but we know from, you know, growing up in the city and like, we know that it was thirsty niggas. Like, it's the difference between, you know, it's that nigga you see and you look at that nigga, you be like, ah, oh, man, here this nigga go. You know what I'm saying? Because you know when he get around the chicks, he finna be thirsting. He finna be like, be, and thirsting is being too you know, too eager, too uh, damn near about to rape a chick, you know what I'm saying? And I and I ain't saying the camera never done that, but I'm just saying, like, that's how thirsty some niggas are. Now, don't just take my word for it. Don't just believe your own eyes. Listen to the nigga Mace. You don't remember this when, like, I know Cameron and Mace is buddy-buddy right now, but you just remember only years ago, not too long ago, the nigga Mace was, they was torching each other on wax. And then didn't May say something about that nigga Cameron slept with his sister or something like that? I can pull up the verse, but I don't even, you know, I don't want YouTube to try to copyright this. But you could go listen to the song. I don't know. It was on one of those diss tracks. Mace had two of them and he was fl and he flamed Cameron. Out of all that battle, Mace beat Cameron. Like Mace liberated himself and walked all over Cameron. But I forget what the, it was the Oracle or one of those diss tracks where he said, nigga, you know, you, he said, you always been a thirsty nigga. Remember that time that you slept with your sister or something like that? Now, I don't know if this was Cameron's stepsister, uh, you know, play sister, whatever, whatever. Nigga, he called his sister. But Cameron did some thirsty shit in Mace's eyes. And you can, you heard the song, but you can go listen, listen to it for yourself. I know they buddy, buddy now. I would love to ask Mace, like, what did you mean by that? Or you just, cause I know you wasn't just talking shit. What did you mean by that? You know, and Cameron never addressed it again, but Cameron was recently um, on, on the show that they have. It is what it is. And he was talking to the wife of retired NBA player, Joe Smith. And she was saying that she had um that she had um she had a massage business called a basketball babes or it's called a massage babes or some body rub babes what it was called body rub babes and Cameron is on there I'm gonna upload the clip he's on there acting super thirsty talking about can you be one of my body rub babes and and like bro you do you know this woman this is Joe Smith's ex wife or or you know wife at the time. You know, I think they ain't divorced yet. So it's like you you talking to this man wife just because and she has the business. So she owns the business. How are you going to ask the, somebody if she wanted to body rub, babe? It's like, come on, Cameron. Why don't you just put your order in like every other nigga, my nigga? Like, did you have to? Only thing I'm saying is, did you have to look like that thirsty on camera? What if she had to say no? <laughs> you would look crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? You would look kooky. Feel you feel me? So it's like, and then you seen Cameron just recently. He had some skit where he was with a midget. All I'm saying, and look, I'm not into niggas' sexual proclivities and and all that. But all I'm saying is, bro, you doing it? You looking thirsty on camera? Like you don't have to do it in the public. Whatever you do in your in your in your private life, go do it there. But you know, you out here. Look at all the skits. Every time you see Cameron posted some some crazy, uh drama with some of these women or something like that bro like you you 40 about to be 50 years old you would think that you would learn by now you ain't never been married like which i get it you know what i'm saying that ain't i ain't knocking that at all but you know what i'm saying the thing is you never like the long-term relationship camera the camera the relationship that camera had that would have worked was the one that he had with juju man you know, him and Juju was 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 compatible and should have, you know, could have made it work. But look, I'm not again, I'm not telling a nigga what to do, but I'm not the deep police here. But all I'm saying is you are a public figure and you look thirsty on, you know, on camera. You've you've had many thirsty moments. And Mace, like I said, I already told the public that you was a thirsty nigga. He said you always been a thirsty nigga. That's what he said. You know, I know y'all buddy buddy now. 
You know, y'all best friends. I don't know where Jim Jones and, and Joel standing with that, but you y'all best friends. And but that's what he says. So he knows you. So it's not just me talking. But yeah, bro, but before you might want to fall back from that. It's a bad look. You know, it's just not it, it's starting not to be a bad look. It's starting not to be a good look for your brand. Now, I know, niggas, that's what some people expect from you. Just you to be on that foolishness your whole life, you know, but you look totally thirsty, you know, trying to get a body rub for on, you know, on your podcast, bro. Say that for, for you know, for for killer season five or so. Say that for another another time. And with that being said, it's your man, the real black effect. I'm gone.